miles of travel. How cute baby. I know he's never even cried. So now what? Um I think Harry did ask us for a night to come to that place I believe. You believe him? I think we should go home to kick her out. Sure we'd like to tell tell more people what what we've seen, but who would believe it? No, especially coming from us. So what was the point of telling us if no one would listen? Hey, that's exactly what God told you first. This is the new king born in a manger. He will reach out to the humble and the outcast to share in God's blessing. Who is more of an outcast among the own people than you, shepherd? So what do you think those shepherds were doing here? I think an angel told them to come. That night, some shepherds were in the fields nearby watching their sheep. An angel of the Lord stood before them. The glory of the Lord was shining around them, and suddenly they became very frightened. The angel said to them, Don't be afraid, because I am bringing some good news. It will be joy to all the people. Today your Savior was born in David's town. He is Christ the Lord. This is how you'll know him. He'll find a baby wrapped in cloth and laying in a barn. Then a very large group of angels from heaven joined the first angel. All the angels were, were praising God, saying, Give glory to God in heaven and on earth. Let there be peace to people who please God. Then, they, then the angels left the shepherds and went back to heaven. The shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that, that has happened. We will see this thing that, that the Lord told us about.
Maybe that's why God told you first. This is the new king, born in Bethlehem. You reach out to the humble and the outcast to share in God's blessing. Oh, here goes. Let's go tell what has happened. You know, the prophet Isaiah did tell us that doesn't mean Messiah, but open the I Eyes and ears of those that seek God's truth. Are you sure you're just a shepherd? Okay, we will now have our offering, and would you please uh, remain seated for our offering song, Angels We Have Heard on High. Information Super Highway. What? You all look way too serious. Is this coffee too weak? Well, we were just talking about. It's just something we heard in church, but can't really agree on. It's hard, I know. I just don't know where to get started. <laughs> exactly. Um, the Bible says that we should, but where does it tell us how? Don't worry, Paul even sends his letters to the Corinthians that we don't have to be trained speakers to share what God has taught us, but that the Spirit will lead us to the right words. Are you sure you're just a farmer? He's right. We were given the gift of the Spirit so that we can share God's love with others. All we have to do is trust in that gift. I'm, well, wait, I remember something about this. Remember during baptism when they light the candles? And they say, may your light so shine before others that they may see your good work and glorify your Father in heaven. So you're saying we should be like a light or like a lamp that lights away others. You don't even have to be a very bright light. <laughs> well, yeah, you just have to trust that God will help you to shine. No matter what. Well, it is Christmas time. What better story to start with than the gifts we were given the birth of Jesus? It's my favorite story. Jesus.
to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story because I know it's true. It satisfies my longings as nothing else will do. I love to tell the story, twill be my thing. I think those kids deserve a standing ovation. Hey.